Hello boys and girls and welcome again to a The Moonlight Nomad video and today we're going to be talking about Anthem which if you remember from my last video was my top favourite so I'm just going to go in a bit more detail as to why I chose that as my first one in this video today so before we get really into the video firstly I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's watched my last video and subscribed so far Obviously, if you are interested in seeing more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell next to it. And what that will do is that will send a notification to you so you don't miss any of my latest videos. And also, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Obviously, I'll post the links in the bottom of the sec bottom section after the video is done. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Anthem is a action RPG where you get to play as people known as freelancers. And you get to wear mech suits called javelins, which you can customize with new weapons, gear, and you may even have new abilities as well. So you might be able to run, you might be able to like climb really high, you might be able to jump really high. You know, you never know. Um, obviously, they've not released a lot of details on it, other than what's in the trailer. So as freelancers, you you are the explorers, protectors, and gatherers of the world. Now, I don't know if there's going to be just the one world, or there's going to be multiple, but I'm really hoping that there'll be multiple, because that'll just be brilliant. And especially as, like, this planet that we're on at the moment that they've shown has, like, deadly storms. So I'm wondering if, like, if we do go to other planets, are there going to be, like, different environmental hazards that will kill us, or like, at least do a, a lot of damage to us? So I'm wondering, like, and obviously we, we will have um, different beasts to fight on different planets. So I'm interested to see more about this. Now being a Bioware game, we can expect multiple choice options that will affect the story. So if you've ever played a Mass Effect, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about here. And obviously you had your good and your bad. And in the latest Mass Effect Andromeda, they didn't have that sort of system. I mean, you could do all the good deeds and the bad deeds, and obviously it'll affect the end story, but it wasn't the Paragon Renegade that they had in the previous three. Um, I have also no idea if there's going to be any romance options in this game. I'm kind of hoping there is, to keep that kind of Bioware story flowing. So I'm really hoping that there will be a lot of uh, romance options I just think that'd be cool uh, now being a big Destiny and Mass Effect fan this game looks like a dream come true to me um, obviously you can collect loot such weapons like this one I'm just gonna stop the video for you so you can have a decent look at this picture now obviously in the top you'll notice it says legendary vault rifle now I don't know if they're gonna have tier systems where similar to Destiny, where you have your obviously your, your common, your rare, and then your um, legendaries, and obviously your exotic. So I don't know if they're going to have a tier system like that. And obviously it's, it also says on the top that there's level 35. So I'm going to guess that the levels are going to be quite high. It's going to be similar to Destiny, but not quite. So I'm hoping it'll be more leaning towards the Mass Effect side of it. Um, moving on from that. So, the reason I, uh, I'm comparing it to Destiny is obviously having rewards and a loot system, being able to team up with other people to explore the world and fight with, it's going to be amazing. Now, being story-based, uh, where your choices obviously affect the end story, it also gives it that kind of replayability, so you can go back and make different choices that you didn't make in the first time you, you played it. So, I think that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now... Um, I think it's going to be great also that you'll see in the video in the background that it look, kind of looks like they've got a drop in drop out kind of uh, system going on so you can get your friends in whenever you like and, and they can just leave whenever you like sort of thing and obviously the the whole uh, shape of storm that's happening in the background there obviously it's moving trees and branches and stuff like that I just think that's going to be absolutely epic now I don't know if there's going to be different beasts, uh, but I, I, I just can't wait for this game. I'm a bit gutted it's not coming out till next autumn, 
but I'm hoping that by then they will have re released a lot more to the game and uh, obviously by the time it comes out it's going to be an absolute killer of a game so I'm going to end the video there thanks for watching I know it was a short one but I'll see you around uh, be fun be you